so it's a 1913 baby Peugeot. It's an 880cc, uh, four-cylinder T-head, uh, and it's good for about maybe just shy of 40, <laughs> something like that. Three-speeder and reverse, uh, designed and prototypes built by Ettore Bugatti, all manufactured uh, roughly 1913 and crossover into early 14. About 3,000, 3,500 built at the time, so a pretty, pretty good mass-produced car. And yeah, we've had the car about is it now 10, 15 years, something like that. Bundles along nicely. This car is a GM Samson with a GM engine Samson Linton. And uh, this is a friend car he gave me. But the car is always at my home. <laughs> and I organize for the engine, for I will be. And it's a fantastic car. And I use uh, every, everything, this one. And I love it. Nineteen nineteen champion. First one they built, car designed by Captain Carden, um, and Captain Carden and uh, and Major Tampin were uh, together in the Great War. Tampin <laughs> bought the company off Carden, but unfortunately he carried on making them for a few years. Um, so it's um, um, got a sort of V-twin Jap engine, 998 cc. <laughs> We've had it for about sort of 30 years and you know, brought it to all of the uh, events here and other places as well. It's a lot of fun, but it you know, keeps challenging us. That's a Dormo from, we guess, from 1919. Uh, my godfather bought it in the 70s in Switzerland. The Dormo, together with the Peugeot from 1923. And the dealer said it's from 1918, but we guess uh, it's from 1919 because 1918 was the end of the First World War. It's more like uh, a Morgan, but with the Swiss engine, the MHE. And uh, yeah, I've got it in 2003 and have been restoring it for about 10 years and still some things to do, but uh, yeah, it runs. Bonjour, donc c'est un cycle car Villard 1927. Euh, c'est un monocylindre, euh, traction avant. Il euh, y en a eu entre 5 et 600 de fabriqués et euh, il en reste 23 dans le monde.
this is a 1914 GN and it's the only pre-war GN that has survived. Spent a long time in America. Uh, I bought it from the last American owner five years ago. Spent the last year doing it up and got it going in February and I'm just driving it the whole time and it's just lovely. And it's, it's, built, it's chain drive, chain drive, three speed transmission, but with final drive by belt. Same uh, capacity as the vintage one, 1100 cc's. Um, and it's very happy at about 40 miles an hour, 40, 45 miles an hour, maybe 50 downhill. Um, brakes are interesting. Steering, Warren Bobbin, beautiful steering. It's all, it's all good. It's a Robinson three-wheeler. It was built by a blacksmith in Northumberland and I've had it about six or seven years and I've found half of it and found all the other bits as well and it's got an O2 de Dion engine and it was used as a taxi to taxi airman to RAF Atkinson for six months and that's about it. We didn't actually know what it was at first, to be fair, and we found out and we found more parts. 1905 OTAV, an Italian make, and converted in 1912. Did have a Vutralette body on, and then the guy turned it into a kind of sporty cycle car, as it were, and put a bigger engine in it. Obviously belt drive, it's got an epicyclic gearbox as well. Tim Gunn had it at one point with the Grafton that came with it originally, rebuilt, and here we are. It's a 1912-13 Morgan Runabout Deluxe. Tell it's Deluxe because it's got a door. My grandfather bought it in the late 50s and he's been on the road since the early 1960s. And he bought it as a contents of a shed because he wanted the Allen side that was at the front of the shed. It's thought to be the oldest surviving Morgan. It's chassis number 150. Still got the one inch chassis tubes because they went to an inch and a quarter. The original Jap 8 house horsepower side valve engine. And it's shabby, chic or tatty, depending on your thoughts, really. A 1912 Humberette built, built by Humber. Uh, it's quite an early one uh, from the original batch of 500 that they built in 1912.
spirit of the meeting award has to go to the French with their Thank you very much for your hospitality, for the atmosphere of the slow. Thank you, John and Caroline. Thank you. Yeah, next year, sorry. <laughs> uh, the first weekend in June, 6 and 7, we organize the French Festival of Slow. I, I, just, I just want to say thank you to, you know, there's a number of officials, they've all been fantastic. Even uh, this wretched man here, <laughs> whose idea it was in the first place, is look at all the trouble he's caused. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, he's been a great help. Um, yeah. People who are listed here, George and Penny, Paul and Chrissy, who've been fantastic. Um, all the, the, Ro even Robin Bachelor here. Oh. Who, need <laughs> <laughs> who needs a foghorn when you go <laughs> on? <laughs> reminded me there are some precious items. <laughs> um, Mark Garfield, Nick Bell, um, the Pallows, I don't know, the Pattons, fantastic, thank you so much. It's just, I, I you know, I, um, Bring your jelly, speech. And <laughs> Bob and Antonio, I thought, Bob, thank you so much for whipping everybody in, telling us who's eligible, who isn't. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much. But most of all, thank you to the catering department. Yeah. 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 Also, the ladies of the Cancer Research. Yeah. Yeah. But most of all, thank you all for coming. Yeah. Thank you. 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 Thank you.